Yahweh, we give praise to the name of God. Through faith and works, let us never stop praising Yahweh, our Master. Get into the book that she uses. We're going to get it into, well, first off, Amaza, aka Dino. We're going to get right into it. First error in the King James Version Bible that a lot of these cult leaders use and swear by and tell you that this is the pure unfiltered word of God. Anyway, the first error is in 2 Chronicles 36 and 9, Jehoiachim, it says Jehoiachim was eight years old when he died, when he began, I'm sorry, when he began to reign, okay? That's in 2 Chronicles 36 and 9, Jehoiachim was supposedly eight years old when he began to reign. Now, in 2 Kings 24 and 8, it says he was 18, not eight, but 18 when he began to reign. In 2 Samuel 6 and 23, Mishal was childless, okay? Then when you go into 2 Samuel 21 and 8, Mishal had five sons. I know, I know. You got to go into the Hebrew, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, wait a minute. If I got to go into the Hebrew to understand, then what is the purpose of using the KJV in the first place? Anyway, in 1 Kings 24... Uh, 1 Kings 4 and 26, Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses. In 2 Chronicles 9 and 25, he only had 4,000 stalls of horses. This is according to the KJV now. In 1 Kings 5 and 16, Solomon had 3,300 supervisors. In 2 Chronicles 2 and 2, Solomon had 3,600 supervisors. In 1 Kings... 7 and 26, Solomon's molten sea held 2,000 bats. In 2 Chronicles 4 and 5, Solomon's molten sea had 3,000 bats. You cult leaders got plenty, plenty, plenty of explaining to you. 
Because again, you say the King James Version Bible is the pure and unfiltered word of God. So you've got to explain this. But you'll run. And this goes out to anybody that teaches this to their congregation. It's time to, it's time to step your studies up. Bring it up. Bring it up a notch. I went by the KJV at one point. I've been going by it, but I'm not doing that anymore. I've learned better. You grow and you learn. Obviously, with all these errors, it's not the pure and unfiltered word of God because God doesn't make mistakes. By the way, the Wycliffe Bible translators were funded by the CIA. Just to put that out there. Just, yeah, Bible translators funded by the CIA. And before, the, before they were called the CIA or referred to commonly as the CIA, they went by something else. Believe that. Everything is run and controlled by fraternal order. Anyone tells you otherwise, the way they run stuff. Anyone tells you otherwise about the powers that be, they're lying to you. Anyway, in Samuel 24, in Samuel chapter 24, um, matter of fact, we're going to go into this one. In uh, 2 Samuel 24 and 24, David paid 50 pieces of silver for the property. In 1 Chronicles 21 and 25, David paid 600 pieces of gold for the property. That same property. More explaining, uh, there's plenty more explaining. Plenty more explaining you guys have to do. You scholars out there. In 1 Kings 7 and 15, the two pillars were 18 cubits high. In 2 Chronicles 3 and 15, the two pillars were 35 cubits high. Okay? In 1 Kings 9 and 28, 420 talents of gold were brought back from Ophir. In 2 Chronicles 8 and 18, 450 talents of gold were brought back from Ophir. Is it sinking in yet? Is it sinking in? In Exodus 12 and 37, the number of Israelites excluding children was 600,000. In 1 Kings 20 and 15, the number of Israelites excluding children was only 7,000. Makes sense out of that. What are you gonna do? You gonna tell me I gotta go into another book to explain those errors? I can go with that. Okay, let, 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 for argument's sake, let's go with that. But what does that say? How does that validate the King James Version Bible? It's over for you cult leaders. It's over. I gotta learn foreign languages to understand now? Now, you've been debunked. I can go into more, but you get the point. And there's a lot more coming. It's over. For all you cult leaders out there, indoctrinating people, not telling them the truth. In Exodus 1, verse 8 and 9, the Israelites were a numerous and mighty people. In Deuteronomy 7 and 7, the Israelites were few in number. In 2 Kings 8 and 26, Ahaziah was 22 years old when he began to reign. In 2 Chronicles 21 and 20, Isaiah succeeded his father, who was 32 years old when he became king and who ruled for eight years. In 2 Chronicles 22 and 2, he was 42 years old when he began to reign. You call leaders got a lot of explaining to do. A whole hell of a lot.
more now. In 2 Samuel 24 and 9, the census count was Israel, 800,000, and Judah, 500,000. In 1 Chronicles 21 and 5, the census count was Israel, 1,100,000, and Judah, 470,000. Please explain that one. Please explain. You're going to tell me I got to go into the another book? Again, what does that say about the King James Version Bible with all these errors? Count that. How many? How many errors? And there's more. I mean... I made it easy. I made it light. I kept it light. I just stayed. You're lucky I just stayed in the Old Testament. Don't make me really connect the dots. It's over for you cult leaders. Again, I'm saying this. Anyway. All of you out there. Keep studying, and I'm out.